President Donald Trump is facing foreign crises. It was sparked by images, some too disturbing to show here, of a chemical attack in Syria, which has killed at least 85 people. Mr. Trump leaves no doubt about who his administration believes responsible. These heinous actions by the Assad regime cannot be tolerated. But how Mr. Trump translates not tolerating into a U.S. response remains unclear. Is the U.S.'s policy on Syria moving toward regime change? The Trump White House isn't using that phraseology. Just days before the chemical attack, administration officials said they expected Syrian President Bashar al-Assad to remain in power. But after the attack, U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations Nikki Haley painted Mr. Assad as an enemy. We have no love for Assad. He's a war criminal. Haley said that if the U.N. fails to respond to the chemical attack, the U.S. might be compelled to take our own action. U.S. military actions of any kind carry serious risks. Russia supports Mr. Assad. American airstrikes would risk confrontation in airspace that's largely controlled by Russia, which has been attacking the rebels fighting the Assad regime. U.S. intervention would mark a dramatic shift in American foreign policy. Last summer, Mr. Trump criticized the Obama administration for killing Syrian soldiers in what the U.S. described as an accident. We bombed, I guess we killed more than 80 troops, and now Russia is absolutely furious at us, but we bombed the wrong people. The right people to bomb under U.S. policy then and now, members of the Islamic State. And last August, Mr. Trump suggested he be tougher on ISIS than Hillary Clinton. ISIS is looking, folks. They dream of Hillary Clinton. They look at her. And they say, this can't be happening to us. How great is this? Fighting ISIS and Mr. Assad's forces at the same time would risk ensnaring the U.S. in a multi-actor conflict. The words regime change also conjure images of the sectarian bloodbath that was Iraq after the U.S. led war in 2003 to topple President Saddam Hussein. President Barack Obama had no appetite for such an American military adventure in Syria. I will not put American boots on the ground in Syria. I will not pursue an open-ended action like Iraq or Afghanistan. Beyond offering military advisors and special forces, the Trump administration hasn't given any indication that it's considering putting boots on the ground in Syria. For now, Trump officials are being vague. We're exploring a number of options and alternatives. As vague as Mr. Trump himself was as a presidential candidate when he suggested that as commander-in-chief, his strategy would be to not announce his strategy. You're telling the enemy everything you want to do.